If I could turn back time. Okay. If I could find a way. Yes. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Yo. Welcome back to the tattoo. What's up? I'm Mark B. And I'm Q. And this is a show about dating and relationships from a black gay male perspective. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. Um. It is a good day. It is a good day. In the neighborhood, in the neighborhood. We are so glad we're yes, right we here. Yes, we are. Guess what? I had um, a conversation with my brother, 20 year old brother, who is currently in college. Okay. And it prompted today's topic for this episode. Okay, so we're jumping right in. We're going to jump right on into it because it got me thinking, man. Like, my mom wanted me to talk to him, telling him that his major is whack. Oh, wow. So I want to say shout out to my brother, first of all, Marcus. Shout out, Marcus. Get your life together, bro. Oh. So anyway, <laughs> so, you know, he's a football player and, nice. you know, like the colleges are throwing money at him. Oh, nice. And when it comes to a, a major, he doing them like, you know, pussy, pussy ass majors. Them pussy ass majors. You know, pussy ass majors. majors that, you know, they don't, he doesn't understand the propaganda and they be trying to get these football players in. They be like... Major in ceramic, shit. So you can get all A's, and so you can stay on so the team. So you stay on the team and play for yeah, us right. and win these games. Thank you. I'm not. I, no, don't come at me like that. Okay. Dog. So I'm feeling that. So I so, get it. So I see. I see what's up. So what? We, what we gonna do about that today? We are well, talking about. You know, it got me thinking. Like, what would you know? At his age, of course, he is argumentative, and he thinks that he knows everything from his twenty year old perspective. And I'm letting him know you don't. Right. I am right. Believe right. me. Okay. I'm right. I'm not, I'm not talking. I'm talking about things that I know. I know that's me? right. So what would I have said Be to right. myself? Thank you. I'm right. Mm -hmm. What would I have said to myself at that age to convince me that once you're this age that I am now, you know what I'm saying? I want you to win. This is what you need to do to win. Amen. You feel what I'm saying? I feel what the fuck you saying. That's all I'm saying. Number one. <laughs> Number one. Don't be afraid. You, this is Merc B. He's serious. I, I would say that. That is one of the things I would say. I would be like, don't be scared. Like, a lot of times, you know, when we're younger, you're scared to speak up. You're scared to say you don't know. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to fuck up. Don't be afraid to, you know, get an answer wrong. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Because that's the only way you learn. And understand that everybody is doing life for the first time. Uno. So you may have the same question that somebody right beside you has. That's right. And they may even be older than you. You don't know. So don't be afraid to speak up, to say that you don't know. Don't be afraid to show yourself and show your opinion. Right. When you have a chance to sit it out or dance. I hope you dance. Let's say. <laughs> I hope you dance. I hope you dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, you know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid. I love Open up that. your mouth. I love be that. heard. Just you know what I'm saying? I love that. If That's you have a chance, yeah, just sing it up. Or dance. Or dance. 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 Mm -hmm. So number that's number two. two. Keep number popping. <laughs> Don't take the easy road. Don't take the easy road. Take that the is yellow a good. road, nigga. That you know is a that? good one. That's <laughs> a hard one, though, because oh. I challenge a motherfucker to get a young person to not take the easy motherfucking road. It's a very but I'm hard, you, a there very, are people that's that, a hard road. That's a hard road. <laughs> like that's that's a, the thing is you gotta think of those people that didn't take the easy road. One of the people that I look up to, Michael Jordan, number twenty three Chicago Bulls. He recognized mm. early that I'm not taking the easy road for this. I, I am that. going to rehearse and practice every day because I want to be that's right. at a certain place at a certain time in my life. And um my doctor he didn't take the he, easy my road. My doctor <laughs> uh, did not take the easy road. You know he didn't take the easy road. Hey Amen. My doctor didn't take the easy road. And I had the chance to take the same road that my doctor did. Right. And guess what I did? <laughs> you know, there's something. I took the easy motherfucking road. There, there, there is something to be gleaned in American literature about taking the road less traveled. Yes, God. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you need to do that. You need to do it's it. Less travel for take a reason. Take the hard road because it's a payout at the and trust and believe. Okay. Trust yes. it. Yeah, you'll come out pure as gold. You come out pure, <laughs> pure as gold. gold. We'll be on number two and number uh, three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Hold steadfast to your standards. You know what I'm saying? Be okay with being an individual. Yes. You know 
YOLO is not only for the shit that you would do, it's for the shit that you won't do. Ooh, did you hear that? Right. Because I felt it. Yes. Oh, you can say, bitch, I'm not doing it. Because why? Because right. you only live once. Okay, you ain't hitting it from the back. Mm -hmm. I like to look at whoever hit this right home. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> no, and can I just say really, really briefly? Right. Back in the day, you know, me being gay, I had an issue with that because everybody was calling me gay and it made me feel like I was was not a good person. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And no. I felt I felt like I was wrong. Mm. That you know I did something wrong. Mm -hmm. But now you know now at this age I'm like somebody called me on the street. Oh, he gay? Whatever? Hell yeah! They gonna love it. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, I was just like so so hurt, and I just did not. I wasn't able to stay steadfast in who I was. Right, and, right. Know, and that just, comes that comes with time. Comes with time. But I would go back to my old self and say. Be who you, you are. You be who you it are. Okay. You know, cute. You know, when we first met many years ago as children, I loved that about you. Oh, thank you. The fact that I don't know if you had been had addressed it at that time. Right. And we were young. We were, you know, you know, elementary school, middle school, right. probably. Right. Right. And um, I love that right. the fact that. And when I met you, I was like, I love how he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> well, I shout out to my mother. She did try to instill that. But the thing about it, whenever you are, you know, inundated by, like, peer pressure, it's really hard to listen to a, an adult. or Right. Much tell, you, tell you. It's okay don't give a fuck. Right. You know, I had, in my younger life, I had so many adults around me saying they don't give a fuck <laughs> that I kind of court on. So, <laughs> right. shout well, out mama, to all that. the thing about my mom wasn't saying that at the time because she was trying to assimilate and be married and all uh -huh. that stuff. She's much different than she is today. <laughs> but she was like, shoot. Don't give a fuck. Don't you like, give he whispered that shit to me. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, but I thank you. Us. You always but said you that to me. I appreciate fuck. that. Uh -huh. You always said that you enjoyed my individuality. Yes, I did. I yeah, did. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, anyway, the next one. So, hold to your status. Stay steadfast. Um, I just moment of silence for this one. Keep your legs closed to married men. Keep your legs closed to married Yeah, trash your hook off, trash box. You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> I would specifically tell my 21 year old self to do that. I would tell your 31 year old self. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No, you can't. No, but I would. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> Don't spill your apple jacks all over the place. Okay, no, no. no. My 21 year old self needed to hear that because <laughs> no, he used to play for Tennessee. Mm. Tennessee. 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 Mm. Mm. Lord, <laughs> really? <laughs> Lord, it, it really okay. got so rough. My family this is my, my family, family that. that. <laughs> That's he, a really hard one. He though. guided me to if Tennessee. He, played, he, <laughs> he took you to another place. Another place. He took you to another place. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it helped me understand the plan. <laughs> <laughs> he he, he uh, helped you forget all that hurts you. He made me forget that all that hurts me. Ooh. You know, it's all right. Ooh. So, you know, on that one, you might just want to tell him, just have a little bit of fun. Have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Too much tops. <laughs> That's all you get. That's all you get. But yeah, I would, back too much to check on. I would just say it, ain't, it wasn't no rush. I would tell the younger me, it's no <laughs> rush to take it to the head, kid. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Don't... <laughs> Come in your mouth. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he God. Is not, he is not that special. He is not that special. Mm -hmm. special. It is going to be one that comes along. Okay. All the way. Okay. Wipe okay. it all away. You wipe it all the way. <laughs> Take oh, it out your yes. mouth. <laughs> Take it out your mouth. I'd walk in on that, that, that room of fun and say, Take it out your mouth. Take it out your mouth. Take it out. Get it out. Hold your head. Hold your face. Hold your head. Put your lips out. Take it out first, then hold your lips out. <laughs> okay. Woo. But tell him, put it back in. Hallelujah. His pants, not in your butt. Not in your butt. <laughs> back in. No I would probably still be. <laughs> <laughs> I would still be a virgin. We got to move on right now. We, on. we got to move on right okay. now. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Oh my clothes. clothes. Woo. Okay. We just have a little heart. So, so hard. <laughs> okay, the next one was so special. And this is so, I mean, this is serious. Okay. It's about start saving for your retirement, young people. Yes, man. young people. Mm -hmm. This is. This was, you know. Listen up, listen up. Hey, okay. young world. Hey, young world. It's, it's very. Listen up, listen, listen up, up, listen up, listen up. Yes. yes. You gotta listen up. Cause seriously, though, um, young people save. 
for your retirement. Yes. I know it doesn't seem, so it seems like so far away, but you it's have to look at it like this. I'm gay as fuck. <laughs> I don't have no kids. Yeah. I'm gonna get old, uh -huh. and I'm gonna need somebody to wipe my ass. Right. And since I don't have no kids that's gonna do it, I think money needs to be able to. Do money that. needs to be a fact. I need that's to be able to pay mean. somebody to wipe my ass. Um, mm -hmm. this is the rule that someone just told me. You know, shout out to Susie Orman. Yeah. Um, hey bitch. You a hey, bitch? <laughs> What's up, Highlanders tag team? Um, we come on here and talk about that money shit too. Okay, hey, Susie. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we watches MSNBC. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but no, no shade. Um, this is the deal. Like, this is the rule of thumb. You have to try to save, and I know bitches is gonna get mad because I'm about to say a number. Um, okay. you have to try to save one thousand dollars for every year that you are alive. Okay. So if you're young, you got a head start, bitch. You may be eighteen to be like, bitch, I can't save up eighteen thousand dollars, a bitch. You can motherfucking do it. Yeah. You can do it. So I would say try to hold on to one thousand dollars for every year that you live. Don't spend it. If you are working somewhere and you have a four hundred one k, contribute to that motherfucker. I don't yeah, care if it is three fucking percent. Contribute to it. If you can do the whole twenty, do the whole twenty mm -hmm. or whatever they let you do. Right. Because I'm telling you, if you're twenty right now, in ten years you could be sitting on a hundred stacks. Literally. Right. Literally. It's Easy. real. It's real. That's right. So um. That's my advice, and, and I would yeah. tell I would tell myself that you know, 15 years ago, 20 mm -hmm. years ago, I would tell myself that like, yo, that 401k is serious. I would say that to my younger self, you know, that 401k is serious, and that that savings is serious. So it, it may sound like big, huge, crazy numbers, but if you're watching this and you're 17 or you're 18 or you're 19, you can get started now. Fuck what your friends say. I know that's you can right. do it. I'm with you. If, if I could right now run out and money grand my younger self. Yeah. But you know what? Yes, I would. I, I, I would I'm like, also, girl, I just don't a, spend it. Don't do it. I can I add another layer on to it to you know find something like the things that you're enjoying right now in your youth, your hobbies. Yes. Find a way to parlay that into a money making, you know, um, thing for you. Younger you know self, are you listening? Younger self. Are I'm you listening? You. I'm talking to you, you know, younger that self. Into a, into a career. If you like playing video games, hey. If you Shakana and you like you doing your edges, Shaka right. edges by Shakana. Yeah, and I know you bitches <laughs> done seen Shakana in the magazines and on everything. So <laughs> right, right. You bitches. You know what I'm okay. saying? Learn how to make some make make some money out of it. Make dollars. Right. Out of that. And you that can do sense. that. You have your prompt, you're in a prime time to do it in your life. Right. Younger self. Exactly. At 18, at right. 17, you're at the prime time to do it. You think about it, I think about, you know, people I look up to, Swiss Beats. You yeah. know, he was selling beats at 16. That's True. You know, making money at 16. And can so, you imagine how his beat sounded? It sounded like he was banging on Mason Jones, but you know what? He made it happen. He made it work. You know, and look at him now. Look. You know? so, so that's true. That's yeah. it. That's right. I love get it. Your, get your money up. I love it. So this is what I want y'all to do. Tell me in one sentence, sentence what you would say to your younger self. Yep. Like if it's 10 years ago, if it's 15 years ago, if it's 20 years ago, if it's five years ago, what would you say to your younger self? Throw it in one sentence on the comment section Please. and let's talk about it together. That's right. Once again, I'm Murk B. And I am Q. This is a tag team. And we love you guys. We love you guys. We went a little left with the topic, but we like to keep it popping. We like to keep it intellectual. It's very intellectual. It's very intellectual. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's still homosexual, but it's very intellectual. All right, so that's what's up. Um, comment on the comment section and um, it, accept all the love that we're giving. Mm -hmm, that's all we got. Because that's all we got to give. Yes, okay. right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In the conversation. We love you. Hey. Hey.